What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Shonen and Speak Easy. It is LQ. Um, just wanted to do another today in the internet. This one actually won't be about the beef at all. It's gonna be about something a little bit more uh, grounded in <laughs> usually what we talk about. But um, it'll be directly about me. Um, I kind of wanted to give a message and insight on life of why I went on a huge streaming streak and then immediately stopped streaming. The, to give a very honest perspective, I'm not going to quit streaming. I just haven't been streaming. You know what I'm saying? So um, there's a few reasons. I'll st I don't know exactly how many reasons. Sorry, you may hear some computer stuff in the background. But uh, reason number one is because I don't really have that many interesting games to stream at the time. I'm recording this right after Ghost of Tsushima came out. and I cannot wait to play it. As we know, PC gamers, we unfortunately get stuck with having to get some things last minute or way after when um way after our console uh gaming brothers and sisters get their games. With that happening, I had to wait. You know, and unfortunately I had to wait years. But anyway, it's all good now. The thing that the thing that I also have to think about is uh, in regards to those games, it's like, I don't want to just stream stuff that people are waiting to see. Like, I don't have any exclusive rights to, you know, stream something early. I don't have anything big going on to where people are calling me and saying like, yo, LQ, I would love your opinion on this game, unless it's like some really small indie game. And it's not the company reaching out. It's like friends and family and stuff. So there's nothing wrong with that, per se. But just the draw for it is a little bit less. And I'm just like, man, when it comes to these games, like, Am I only interested because people ask me to play it or do I have a real interest in this game? How it works, the mechanics. Is it my type of game? Because a lot of people wanted to see me early on play horror games and I never played them. But the thing is, I didn't play them because I was scared. I didn't play them because I wasn't interested. <laughs> so whenever people would be like, oh, yeah, you should play such and such horror game. Like they usually didn't. They didn't hold my attention. And the reason why they didn't hold my attention is because it was just in a category game I didn't care about. I did finish the Dead Space remake. That was an incredible game. I beat Resident Evil 2. Also a really good game. I'm not going to say it was an incredible game. It was a really good game. No, it was 3. My bad. It was Resident Evil 3. And I just recorded myself beating that game because I knew deep down I wasn't going to stream the whole thing. I beat it at a very, very slow pace. And... um. When I finally got to it and I was able to finish it up, I was like, I think people would have enjoyed watching me play this. But I was like, oh, well, it's too bad. You know, it was it is what it is. But um, it, it, what am I trying to say? After that, it was just like, well. You know, what else is there? And then on top of it, on top of it being what else is there? It was more like, yo, what do people even care to see me play or like do? You know, like I, I played Hell Divers. Hell Divers was messing with my system, and it was starting to aggravate me. And then after that, I was like, oh, "Yeah, I can." You know, I always have my brother that I can rely on to play games and stuff, and that was cool. But it still was just like this little nagging idea in the back of my head that was just like, "Bro, we gotta figure something else out." Like this isn't this isn't it. You know, I'm not really having as much fun as I want to. And that was another thing is just like after a while, it did start to feel like a job. And I didn't want that. Like I felt like it was more obligation than it was a hobby. Like I would have to promote on social media and people know in work, in like my real work life, I already do enough of that. So it just didn't feel good, you know? Like it didn't, it just didn't feel fun. None of it was a great experience after having to like put in so much work to, to tell pe people to come watch my stream. And it just didn't like, it didn't resonate. It didn't feel good. Like that's all that I can really say. It didn't feel good to have to constantly promote, get off of work, doing marketing, staring at a screen, go back into the, you know, go get, pick up my son from daycare come back home, do all the father stuff that I'm supposed to do, come back in here late at night, and then basically try it all over again. You know, like try to do work all over again. 
the planning that it takes, making sure that the system is running right, making sure that pretty much anything that I do when it comes to being in here was functioning well. And that's in order in in order to do that, I had to prep people to want to come to the stream and get them interested. But then also the downside of that was nobody wanted to see a late night streamer. Like everybody else has a day job. Th those times that I streamed, what was it? Eight days in a row, which is pretty awesome. I'm proud of myself for that. But the big drawback was I was streaming eight days a week and there wasn't really anything I was getting from it. Like the, it was my friends there. And not to say that I don't appreciate my friends, but it just didn't, it wasn't getting me anywhere. Like I, I just felt like I wasn't going to make the progress that I wanted. And that bothered me because I'm a very goal oriented person. So whenever I can't do that, you know, whenever I can't reach my goals, it usually bugs me quite a bit. And I just felt stagnant. And then on top of feeling stagnant, I felt like I wasn't doing my, I was doing myself a disservice. And I was also doing the people that actually cared to support me and watch me a disservice because I wasn't available when they were. And um, it, it took a lot to be like, you know what, man, we need to go back to the drawing board. And I ended up talking to other creators that are doing way better than I am right now. And I was like, man, I need some type of help. Like, what can you tell me? What advice can you give me in order to work this through? And one of those creators said, well, you're creating content backwards. And I was like, what the hell? What do you mean by that? And when he s explained it, he was like, well, you make long form content. I was like, yeah, obviously. He was like, all right. So when making long form content, do you consider the fact that like people actually prefer short form content? I was like, yeah, I know. I got my TikToks from my stream and stuff. I post that. And he was like, do you post every day? I was like, absolutely not. Like that's, that's hard as hell. Like <laughs> it's to post on TikTok every single day. I was like, bro, I got a life, you know? So with that, he was like, well, that's kind of the thing. Like you got to be able to post that every day. You got to be able to work the algorithm into your favor. Yes. And then on top of that, he was like, all right. So another thing he was like, well, you got to use that short form content to get them to be interested in your long form content. So streaming isn't doing you any favors. And I was like, how in the hell is streaming not doing me any favors? Like it just, it was aggravating to even here. I was like, how the hell is streaming not doing me any favors right now? And he was like, well, let's be real. If it was, you wouldn't have this problem. It's like, all right, I guess I'll shut up and just let him have it. You know, he's right. But um, he was like, you should focus your content too. Like actually have a plan for what you want to make short form content of and then make it in. And then once you get your traction there, you'll have people interested in your long form content. And my brain immediately went, that's too much work. Like, especially for someone that like, I have a kid. I want to still have those experiences with my son and be able to enjoy him, you know, like that's, that's pretty important. Enjoy my time with him, make sure he feels loved and taken care of and that my wife gets the relief that she needs. So she doesn't feel like she's doing this all alone with just some dude that's living in the house with her. You know, that's my wife. I want to be able to help her out as much as possible too. But uh, dang, I'm already rambling away from my first point. But the second point was really, it was, I feel like I was doing a disservice to myself. and. I just didn't like that feeling. So the second reason was work just got really busy. A third reason, my bad. Third reason was work just got really busy. I There's nothing else that goes along with that. Work is work, y'all. And when work gets busy and it drains you out that much, you don't really have time for anything else. So I was just doing what I could to basically stay afloat mentally. And the thing that helped me the most was just making sure that I got my daily work done and, you know, streaming doesn't pay any bills. It it can get my wife a nice dinner every now and then, but that's about it. <laughs> so, you know, nothing against y'all, but it's like if people were, if, if it was lying in my pockets like my day job, yo, I'd be streaming every freaking moment I get. I'd be streaming while doing the podcast. But doing the podcast is easier because I don't have to really 
miss out on anything in order to do streaming. I mean, in order to do the podcast, my bad. I messed it up already. But yeah, I don't really have to miss out on anything. So I can do it and like get up. I can pause, get up and then go tend to my kid or like just in a few minutes here. I do my today, my today in the Internet. It's usually before I go pick up my son from daycare. It's not it's not hard. I don't really have to edit that much, which is great because nobody is dying for me to come in with these full edited. You need a soundboard type deal. So that helps out a lot, too. The expectations are managed differently, and I appreciate that. But uh, it just it just got to a point where like doing a podcast was way more convenient. It was way less stress. And I still got to spread, you know, spread love, spread love, have fun. And that's really all I really wanted to do is just share my thought process with the world, help shed some light on how they may see the world. And we'd be straight, you know, but uh, with streaming, I wanted it to be more entertaining and show people some of the weird or new games that I play that most people don't ever see or have no idea what it is. Because I realized after a while, I was like, man, I play a lot of games and people always ask, so what the hell is that? Where did that come from? Why is it blah, blah, blah? Like, you know, just stuff like that. So it was it was really cool. But like not being able to do that. To the full extent or the way I wanted to was quite annoying. Reason number four is my mental state. I'll just be honest, when it came to being on camera and trying to smile in people's face and all that stuff, like I really I wasn't feeling myself. Like I just I would look in the camera and I wouldn't be happy with the way I look. And, you know, sometimes I would come on here looking all busted. You know, the other times I felt good throwing the kimono, y'all, you know, everything is all good. And that was great, but I couldn't pull that off all the times that I needed to. And it, it, it bothered me. So I was just like, man, I'd rather just not do this shit at all. <laughs> you know, now um, going to therapy and stuff and just making sure that my mental state as in all facets was good. I want to be a good coworker. I want to be a good husband. I want to be a good father. So like all that stuff was important and I couldn't ignore any part of that in this life, you know? So, and I was like, this is easier to step away with, step away from my bad. And I step away with that's hilarious, but um, that's pretty much what happened. I do have a couple more reasons. Uh, if y'all still listening, I appreciate it, but I knew that taking care of my mental health was significantly more important than hopping on the stream and hoping that I could give people a good laugh. Now the, I guess, what was that? Point four I'm trying to keep track. I'm not going to edit it to make any changes. So it is what it is. Like I said, I got to get in and go get my son in a minute. So this is the best of luck to all y'all with the, with that one. I will say another reason that I haven't streamed in a while is something I had to deal with internally and that's because i straight up i just got jealous of everybody else that was streaming people were getting raided every day you know and um for those that don't know a raid is when somebody has a stream and then they bring their stream to your stream and they're just like hey watch this person because i like them and i support them and that would be the only way that i would get people that were brand new to come into the scene but then I would see other people get raided, even people that I sent to other channels to raid. They would net more new followers than what I would get if I got raided by like 20, 30 people. And I was like, damn, am I not entertaining? Like, do I do I have to yell like Kasanet? Do I have to like constantly give away games? Do I have to give people money? Like, what is what's going on to where I am not good enough on my own? So that and that really did. I was just like, yo, this, I am stuck. Like I want to do well and I want, I strive to be good at everything I do. Cause I feel like if I, if I half ass it in any, in any form, if I half ass the effort, the marketing, the technique, just the skill set, like any of that stuff, I'm just like, then what's the use of doing it? Like it carries no purpose for me. And that's really what bothered me the most is I was just feeling like, this stuff isn't doing, I'm doing myself a disservice. Truly. I'm truly doing myself a disservice. And 
I don't want that. And I don't want to do the people that I'm aiming to entertain a disservice. It's whack. It's, it's really whack. And uh, it, it got to me. That that jealousy of that got to me. And I don't usually get jealous of much of anything in life. But I was like, damn, I had a hot start. I was doing incredible. And this is what I have to show for it? Like, it just felt weird. It felt lame. It felt really lame. And so um, I tried I tried to get myself together on that. And then to make matters worse, I was like really, really trying to do more of the music stuff, too. And that's not going poorly, but that was the one thing that I felt like was easier to set aside compared to all the other things I had going on. I cannot release another album for two, three years, and that's normal for people. But also people weren't clamoring to hear new music from me. <laughs> people don't really care to hear new music from people that they don't know. Now, it's it's a there's a little bit of discernment across the board. Whenever somebody's like, "Hey, yo, I got this friend that raps," everybody's just like, "Okay, I guess." Like that's that's usually the take on it. It's just like, "All right, I guess." What is he talking about? Probably talking about the same shit everybody else talk about. If I ain't heard about him, must not be that good. So I just I didn't want to be a part of that, and I was like, "That's it's easier to put that down because I actually do like putting a lot of effort into." into rapping. I think it's I think it's a tough skill. It's something that if you're not constantly working on, you know, sometimes it goes away and that's that's pretty much it. Like that was the hard part. They are blowing up at work and it is after work hours and it makes me so upset that they're doing that, but it's okay. Some it's probably something important to them and not important to me. Anyway, like I said, work has gotten really busy, so I'm just kind of getting used to the dings and the sounds and all that good stuff. I wonder, was there anything else? Because I went over the time, the effort, the jealousy, the games, the lack of games. My goodness, it's been like kind of dry out here. But we finally getting back to it. I, some of the games I played, I'm be like, oh, this is good, the stream. And then I'll beat it. <laughs> it's just, I was like, oh, that was smart. I just beat the freaking game. The one that I planned on streaming at some point. So that that was that was interesting. Uh probably not my brightest moment. Let's see here. Um I, honestly that may have been it. But I do want to continue streaming. I do want to continue to entertain. I want to reach people. I think I'm fairly funny. Um, just sometimes I wasn't in the mood to be the funny guy. And that that gets to you too. That gets to you too. You're just like, well, you know, I want to do blah, blah, blah. You can't do that no more. <laughs> That's not available to you. So, yeah, I, I believe overall that this will. I don't think things are coming to an end for as far as streaming. It's just I need to go back and regroup. I need to fix the issues that I'm having within myself and with streaming overall. And just come back with that good short form content that brings people to my longer form content and to have that confidence within myself that <laughs> that I can do this and that I'm made to do this. And also not judge myself by the success of others, because I am way behind the people that I want to, to meet and surpass. And I'm just not there yet. And I can't allow myself to sit here and be like, well, it's all my fault. And these, you know, and this stuff sucks. It's all my fault. I'm not good enough. And it, that's not the case. It's really not. So I need to, I need to change that perspective, but I'm working on it. I'm working on me every day. I'm working on this damn job every day. I'm working on my life and my family every day. And I, I want to be the best that I can be in every facet of life. But that takes time and that takes a crap ton of effort. That is not easy. So, you know, um, I just want to give y'all some insight. I don't really want to ramble too much longer. It seems like I've gone on long enough. I think we're all right on that. But uh, yeah, just giving y'all some information on what's going on with me, how I'm thinking, how I've been moving. And to also confirm that, yes, I will be going back to streaming at some point. It's just, it's not yet, but it will be soon. Also, all my past streams are on YouTube. Like I said, I know people like short form content. So some of the cooler highlight moments are on TikTok and on Instagram. 
but yeah, I, I hope and pray that everybody has a great day. Take care of your mental health. It's very important. It's very, very, very important. Without that, you, there's a lot of things that you just can't do. You just can't. And I, I want everybody to be able to do everything that you hope and dream for. So with that said, Shona Speakeasy, call me LQ. We out.